Well, there are no guarantees in wildlife watching, but uh, especially when you come out a little bit further, you, you do hope you're going to see something special. And we're in the bitten hide now. And according to a photographer in here, somewhere in the reeds there is a bitten. And uh, nobody apart from him has been able to see it yet. But uh, eventually, patience was rewarded. And uh, she, and I say she because uh, she is a female, and she eventually... Uh, showed herself. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Uh, when I came here I hoped I might be lucky and uh, see a bitten, but uh, never dreamed that I'd get this kind of view. As I say, it's a female. Um, males have uh, a blue area at the uh, base of their beak, um, sort of spreading into their face. So uh, this is definitely a female. The, the male has been around apparently, according to the photographer, who's a regular here. Uh, but he's uh, had his evil way and, uh, and now has gone off somewhere else. Uh, not particularly uh, good parents and males, but uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got bitterns at local reserves like Titchmarsh and uh, Summerlees. And uh, I've seen them flying over, especially at Summerlees. I saw one at Titchwell flying over. But uh, I've never seen one in among the reeds like this. And what a fantastic view. Uh, just down below us, maybe uh, 30, 40 yards away. And what a view of uh, one of the most secretive birds in Britain. probably heard of booming bitterns. Um, it's the males that boom uh, to try and attract a female. But uh, she's busily fishing there and um, before we got there apparently er earlier in the day she uh, she caught a big tench. But you can see uh, how stealthily they move. Bittens are members of uh, the heron family, but uh, and they'll eat uh, similar food to grey herons, um, frogs, and, and various fish. Well, she attempted to fish there. Well, look, a crest that just came up. Absolutely brilliant. And off she goes into the undergrowth. What what a privilege um, to see such a secretive bird there absolutely fantastic how do you follow that well you can't uh, so we're, we're going to leave Minsmere now and we're going to head off uh, to the village of Black's Hall uh, near Woodbridge and we've got some accommodation um, booked there okay here we are in Black's Hall uh, this is the ship in uh, where we've got a couple of chalets booked. It's actually the start of the peak holiday season and uh, believe it or not hotel rooms around here are going for between 150 and 250 quid a night but uh, my wife managed to find us uh, these brilliant chalets for an amazing 50 pounds a night. Well we've just had a couple of pints and a nice meal in the uh, pub and uh, looking forward to getting off to Havergate Island tomorrow. Here we are the next morning and uh, looking outside it's uh, a little bit um, grey. Okay as you can see we're in the car now, we've just had a nice full English breakfast uh, which was included in the price of the rooms. Just driving through Tunstall Forest on our way to Orford uh, and that's where we catch the boat. Here we are at uh, Orford Quay. You see it uh, is a bit drizzly. Um, we're just waiting for the RSPB boat, which is going to take us to the island. And here it comes. Uh, we're going to spend three hours on Navigate Island. OK, here we are. The boat has just dropped us on the island. And it'll uh, be back to pick us up at 1.20. So we've got three hours, so let's get on. Navigate Island is the only island in Suffolk. You've got two rivers that flow into each other here, the uh, River Or and the Butley River. And the island is officially situated in the uh, Or and Alder estuary. 
There are five hides here all together, all in a straight line. So uh, let's go and check them out. Just on the way down to the hide, I uh, saw this uh, lovely but um, unfortunately dead creature. It's a tiger moth and I haven't seen one of these since uh, the 70s. Amazing creature. I don't know what killed it. Okay, uh, this is the gullery hide. Going to check this out. Uh, they're all roughly overlooking the same sort of uh, huge scrape area. There's Orford Castle in the distance there. And uh, looking out, quite a, a selection of birds, but uh, all sort of spaced out. A good selection of various types of gull. Also, uh, small flock of avocet there. Uh, nesting herring gull. Not a lot of activity, uh, but things are still around about a month behind. Got an oyster catcher there having a bit of a stretch. A couple of sleeping shell duck. And way over on the far side, uh, a small flock of spoonbill. Very distant though, not particularly good view. One or two uh, nesting common terns. And very distant there. I thought it was a curlew, but I'm pretty sure it's a wimbrel. It looks as though it's got a bigger beak, and wimbrels are slightly bigger. But it is a long way off, but I'm pretty sure it uh, is a wimbrel. Well, we're going to move on now to the uh, other end of the island, down this path, uh, hoping to uh, film the famous Habergate hares. They're supposedly situated among this uh, gorse. And I think the photographer with the uh, big lens there has um, found one. And there, there it is. And just not bothered about him at all. You, you don't certainly don't need a lens that size to get to get a shot of it. And there's no way you'd ever get uh, close to a hare like this on the mainland. But um, there are no predators here, and they're just used to uh, people and. Uh, but you've got to look uh, closely in the um, gorse here because they're not particularly active at the moment and they're well camouflaged but uh, what amazing creatures but um, you know you, it's almost cheating you know you can get so close but uh, although they are wild creatures and uh, what a lovely shot Well, that's almost it from Havergate Island, almost the end of the weekend. We're back at the quay, just waiting for the boat to come, and here it comes. Uh, going to take us back to the mainland. It's been a really enjoyable weekend. Uh, recommend both reserves, and uh, it's only about two and a half hours to get here. And For me, the highlight was the bitten. <laughs>